Yo, what's up guys? I'm Yannick from the Produce School and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Acid 303 sounds inside of Serum. The sound of the Roland 303 is really iconic and it has been used in so many tracks, especially in techno tracks, it's used a lot. And today, I'm going to show you two ways of how you can create the sound inside of Serum and I will also give you some tips and tricks that you can use to make the sound a little bit more unique. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. If you're looking for more sounds like these that I will be creating in this video, then make sure to check out our brand new pack Inferno, which has a lot of really cool acid sounds in there that are perfect for techno. I loaded up an init preset in Serum, so we will be making the sound completely from scratch. Um, I also loaded up a MIDI that plays a nice melody, just really simple 303 sounding melody. And this will be the starting point of the sound. The first way that I'm going to show you how you can make those 303 sounds is by using a wavetable. And the second method is a little bit more complex um, because I will go over filters and distortion a little bit more. Um, but let's start with the easy uh, method first. Inside the Serum Factory Wavetable Bank, there is a wavetable called Acid. Uh, so this is the one, it's like the second um, wavetable you can find. So let's click it. And it sounds like this. Now it's not really sounding like an acid sound, but we're going to fix that. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is to shape the sound. And this is something we're gonna do with envelope one, which is automatically controlling the level of the oscillators. So the volume. Um, and we're going to link this to another thing as well. But let's first uh, start and shaping it. Let's lower down the sustain a little bit and the decay as well. Something like this. Let's add a little bit of release. I want the sound to have a little bit of sustain and if you don't want that just drag it all the way down so you have a more plucky sounding uh, 303 sound. The next step is to control the wavetable position of the wavetable with envelope 1. Um, let me first show you what the wavetable position button does. And when I'm moving it, it's already sounding more like a 303 sound. And we're going to control the wavetable position with envelope 1 as well. So let's drag it on there and put it like at 25 or something. Then it sounds like... Let's lower down one octave so it's more of a bass sound instead of a lead. Let's add some effects like distortion. A little bit of reverb as well. Maybe some delay. The original 303 are clones of it, like this one we have over here, which is a Behringer, and it's just really fun to play with. It has this knob called Accent, and with this you can play around with the velocity uh, of the MIDI, and that's what we're going to do in Serum as well. We want to make sure that the wavetable position of the sound, which makes it more sounding like distorted and resonating, like that effect, which is already built in the synthesizer. Uh, we want to recreate the effect with Serum and to control the wavetable position with the MIDI velocity, we're gonna link the velocity source over here to the wavetable position. Make it a little bit easier to understand. Um, I will play a note softly on the keyboard, like that. And when I hit the note harder, it sounds like this. And in this way, you can somewhat recreate the accent uh, knob on the synthesizer. 
And now we can just put up the velocity of some random notes. Now you can create more complex patterns of the 303 and also add some like a groove to the sound. The second way that I want to show you is not by using the S wavetable, but by using just a saw wavetable like here. I'm going to set up envelope one just as we did before. So shape like this, something like that uh, will work. To create the sound of the 303, we're gonna need two things. One of them is a band filter controlled by the envelope. And the second one is distortion. So let's start off with the band pass filter. Let's enable the filter in Serum. And let's select, I think 12 or band 24 will work. And let's control the cutoff with envelope one by dragging it on top of there. Something like this. Put up the volume. Let's add a little bit more resonance for a sharper sound. Now we have to add distortion to get the typical 303 sound. Let's put it up right here. Just a tube distortion or diet one or whatever uh, distortion you want to use, you can be creative with it. So with linear fold, you can create like crazy uh, distorted 303 sounds, but let's just stick with the tube distortion. We can also shape the distortion filter like this. You can do this to add some extra resonance to the sound. Let's add a little bit of reverb and delay. Just basic ping pong delay and some reverb as well. Let's also link the velocity source to the cutoff, just as we did um, with the first method. Now I'm linking the velocity to the cutoff. Um, it just basically sounds the same. Once you have the basic 303 sound, you can start getting a little bit more creative. And you can do that by adding an extra layer or some white noise. Um, so let's add another layer to it. Let's go for another wavetable, maybe like a square wavetable. You can also like detune it for instance. You get a wider uh, sound. Add some white noise to it. And there you have your own synth size 303 sound. Don't be afraid to try some new stuff like adding weird effects or something like that. Make the sound a little bit more unique and give it your own twist. I know that the sound of the 303 is not really complex, but it's still really useful to know how it's built up. 
For now, I hope you learned something new watching this video. And I will see you in the next video.